Hi everyone, welcome to Paw Paw's Workshop. Today we're going to be making some adapters on the X-Carve that are very simple but they really help to keep the dust out. These fit onto the hoses on the vacuum cleaner and then the other end slips into the tool for the port for the vacuum at that point. Unfortunately, in most cases, this hose does not fit the tools. With these adapters that are very cheap to make and only take just a few minutes solves that problem. I like to have as much of a dust-free shop as I possibly can. So let's get started. Today I want to show you how I make the adapters to fit onto my vacuum cleaner hose and also to the various tools. And to begin with, what I always do on mine is I create an outside diameter on my hoses at three inches. So what I did is just brought in a circle and I'm going to go over here and lock the um, circle for the diameter and I'm going to change that to 3.0 inches and that creates the outside of my adapter. Now I do want to go ahead and set this right now for the outline cut and I do want to set this to cut on the outside. So that is the first part. The next thing that I do, and I'm going to make just two of these today, one for the hose and one for the tool itself. So at this point I'm going to hit Control C and Control V and that takes care of both of the adapters. The only thing I need now is the inside hole for each of them. So to be able to do that, I'm going to go up and select another circle. And one of the things that I did is I have taken the calipers and I have measured my hose that I use. And it's a, it's a hose that is exactly 2.26 inches in diameter and I allow for about an extra three hundredths of an inch. Okay, I'm going to take this and set this circle for 2.29 inches. And to be able to do that, I'm going to go over here, make sure that this is locked, and then I'm going to put in 2.29 inches, and that takes care of it. The next thing I will do is go over to the cut, and I want this to cut on the inside and then from there we'll slide it down we'll center this within itself so by selecting both parts and now have it centered in that space now then the, the tool that I'm working on is for the bandsaw and so let's get another circle we'll set that up here the bandsaw that I have is 2.19 inches is the actual size. So doing the same exact thing, I'm going to come over here, lock this again. I'm going to add 3 hundredths of an inch. So that's 2.22 inches. From there, I'll change my cut again to be able to cut on the inside. Slide this down here. We don't need to be exact. I'll just highlight both of them, center it left and right, and there's the adapters. From here, I'm just going to go ahead and take both of those parts, slide them down, highlight this, slide it over. Now the material thickness is at 75.75 of an inch. So the cut depth that I want to have for both of these is actually about 0.72 of an inch. I don't use the tabs because I am using a vacuum table, but at the same time, I don't want to cut up the vacuum table. So I'm bringing it down to just a very slight bit of material that will hold it. And all you'll be able to do is just push it and it'll pop out. So let's go ahead and get these carved. Now I'm cutting the adapters using three quarter inch uh, particle board so it's a substantial material. It's being held in place simply by the vacuum table. The clamps that you see 
are only holding the vacuum table itself. So this is working extremely well. There is no movement whatsoever on the vacuum table and it's cutting the adapters easily. Today is the first real test of using the vacuum table and I gotta say this worked great. Now when I tested it the first time I used 3x5 cards to be able to cover up the area that was not covered by the project and I had a very very slight slippage of the material during the carving. What I did today I used this I used the waste board today that made it where there was absolutely no movement at all. It's also very important to note and I did leave one channel open so that the air could still get pulled into the vacuum cleaner. If you close this off totally, then you will burn up the vacuum cleaner. It won't take long. So I left the one channel open. Everything else was closed. And as you can see, this worked flawlessly. It's very happy with the results. Now for the real test. I have the um, adapter. I just barely touched it up on the um, sander to clean up the edges. And let's see if this fits. That fits perfect. Now we'll take the other adapter and we'll check with the hose. This is going to be the hose that I'm going to use. That fits in perfect. Now I'll just glue these two together and this adapter will be finished. All I'm going to do is just use a little bit of super glue today. I could use the white tight bond, but I'm going to be impatient and just slip that on there. We'll slip these two together. Now the outside diameter is exactly the same. So they'll go together nice and smooth all the way around. Okay, we'll let that dry for just a couple of minutes. And this adapter is done. I have several more adapters that I want to make today. But you can see the process and you see how it works extremely well. A lot better than buying them at the store. I don't think this one really cost anything at all. So I like free. Now that this adapter is finished, let's go ahead and put it to work. There we go. That will help keep the dust down from the bandsaw. Hi everyone. Thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.